do you have to make it column or vec or vec or uh, or uh, vector? Mm. And, and multi, if you do if you do if you do matrix multiplication, right? Does the first one have to be horizontal or vertical? Okay. Horizontal, right? So this is horizontal already. So let's just connect this one. Okay, and then not do comma. So the second one has to be a vertical one. Okay, so the way it works is if you transpose. And now I select this one. Close bracket. Delete this selector. And now you do plus. And you do the A0. And then you press F4. Now you gotta do F4 on those two. I think you have to do control shift enter in order for this ML to work. Mm. Okay, so you see it's exactly the same. Right, so let's try to change the. What is exactly the same? The result we got, the bubbles look exactly the same as before. Oh, okay. okay. So let's try to change A, change A to 1. Okay. Okay. Good sense. Mm -hmm. Moving the thing down, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so change back to zero and I'll change one of the piece. Change the slope of the line. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Gonna be so happy. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what was I doing? What are you looking at here? Here. Okay, so. So A is the slope, and B is the intercept. Let's try to do... Uh, theta, zero, and theta. So the big circles are... The big circles are one is one and the other one is, is two. So how do I do this? I do this times. How do I convert to zero and a minus one into a one and a two? I add two. No, I I multiply by zero point five and add one and a half. Five. Okay. Big ones. One and two. One and two, right? So that I can I can classify things for either one or two. Okay. So zero is classified. So I can try all the that's. Yeah. Okay, so let's try to add this line. What's that? Well, it's another bunch of bubbles. Okay, and we need to classify them. We need to make, or well, let's try to put the size of one. Just pick this as an X. 
x values are this y values are this or this and the bubble size Okay. Try to pick two points so that you can't screw around this A and B. To scatter them. Pick two points that are. What do you mean, don't mess with A and B? You can mess with A and B. You can change A and B. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Can I just try this too? Yeah, okay, this is slope. Yeah. You got two bees actually, you got both. Maybe it's not a slope. Is it supposed to be a slope? In this model. Okay. Oh, oops. Where am I going? And this just moves the line up. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's make this guy up. when it's here. And go through the origin. So now let's make this guy a 2 and this guy a 1. So pretty. Okay. Okay, now let's try to change the classifier so it shares them correctly. Okay. This. The classifier. Parameters. This is not the classifier. Just the classifier, yeah, but you, you know that just the classifier depends on the parameters. It depends on takes both x values and it takes the parameters and it gives you an answer either a one yeah. or Okay. And now what am I trying to do? You wanna match the you know, this is your test data, right? You wanna put the big red one into the big blue ones mm -hmm. and the little red mm -hmm. one into the little blue ones. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, What if I just make it all big blue? That doesn't work. Okay, so the click always is this B is the one you're multiplying X by, right? If you make that a minus one, you flip it over. Okay, it was A earlier. It was mm -hmm. like A and B. Yeah. Can I change around, so well, it doesn't matter. B is the slope normally and A is the intercept, so. Okay. Uh, so I put minus one. And now I messed this up. You gotta make this one a minus one too. And this guy here. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's right. Okay. No. Why yeah. did I make this one minus one? Because it's you're multiplying both of these by both of these, yeah, right? So yeah, these okay. things are actually restricted, right? They actually both do the swap. Yeah. Okay. okay. This, by the way, is called the derivative. 